uh, back to intactivism uh, real quick. You know, when I get into the courtroom, um, I was thinking about this this morning, my part of my argument, and it might be my opening statement, excuse me, my uh, middle of the middle of the deal and the closing statement too. Excuse me. Um, here we go. You know, when Mengele, the infamous uh, physician, Nazi Germany, Dr. Mengele, um, he fled after World War II and was never caught. He was in, well, between Argentina and Uruguay, I think, maybe, maybe sometime in Brazil. He might have died in Brazil, I can't remember. He died. I think they said he had a stroke swimming in the ocean and expired, drowned or whatever. He, his whole life, I'm not an academic on this subject, so uh, what little I remember of the story, didn't, uh, was offended by, you know, the accusations. Uh, this is because he was well-educated doctor, and uh, he used the scientific method. So he's, uh, you know, collecting data and probably publishing papers and all of these things that uh, these doctors and research scientists do together and pat each other on the back and. Um, well considered in his social circle, dinner parties, and the whole rest of the thing. But from his point of view, he was the consummate professional. Just one problem. His patients weren't fully informed and, and they didn't give their consent. <laughs> so they weren't patients. They were, they were victims. They were his victims. And so speaking of the uh, and logic gate, uh, the Boolean algebra thing, or the Boolean logic gate, uh, George Boole is noted for advancing uh, his, during his time, for advancing uh, computer science quite a bit um, with these uh, developments and understanding. So in that logic gate, if the fully informed is there and the um, full consent is there, then it passes through the logic gate. It takes two positive values. If either one of those is negative or if both are negative, it doesn't pass through the gate. And so um, this is what we have here, and it's, it's so perfectly analogous to the uh, Dr. Mengele uh, thing. The doctors have learned procedures. I learned a procedure. I went to med school and I learned a procedure. And so I'm applying that procedure in a medical setting. So therefore, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a professional person, but you're just missing two things. The fully informed patient and the full full consent, so it's it's madness. Uh, I don't, you know, they need to uh, they need to stop, and I don't give a rat behind what happens to them after they stop. And then um, they can write their own ep epitaph. Um, so that uh, will likely be. Uh, in my opening uh, statement. And, you know, the defense may well watch my uh, videos. They tend to uh, suss someone uh, in, in this type of situation, one of the first things they do. So, um, uh, and that's fine. I would, you know, I don't want to get in the courthouse and be up against children. I, I, I want them, I want to, I, there really is no such thing as a heavy hitter in this context, but I would just assume if, 
if there was, they brought one. So I don't have to kill them one by one, metaphorically speaking. I would just give me one and not just let me, you know, take his head off and, and, be, and be done with it. But, uh, yeah, and it's funny when, you know, people get together, they form a gaggle and they start honking at, you, at each other. And in that, and then they go doing that, they're honking together and they go right off the deep end. And you're like, oh, geez, that was strange. Uh, but these, these people need to trundle off. They need to just finish this going off the deep end thing because uh, it's uh, mighty tiresome. Um, all right, that was it. Thank you.